In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some last minute revision tips for your GCSE Spanish speaking exams. Part one of this video will be tips for the role play question. Part two will be tips for the photo card question and part three will be tips for the general conversation. Please use the time markers if you would like to skip to a particular point in the video. So for the role play question, tip one, revise question words. The question words are really, really important for the role play question and for AQA, these come up several times, whether that's you forming a question yourself or you working out what one of the bullet points means. I've created a Quizlet set with a list of these question words so you can find this link in the description box if it's useful. So continue with the role play question, tip two is to revise past exam questions. You can access past exam questions in your revision guides or in a moment I'll show you how to find some past exam questions on the AQA website. So to use your past exam questions really effectively you want to have almost a run through of what it would be like in the preparation room. When preparing your bullet points for the role play question, time yourself and see if you can complete this in between four to six minutes. If you've never come across what the role play question looks like before or how to get the best marks, I'll put a link to a video I made recently all about the role play above so that you can access that too. To find past exam questions, type AQA Spanish past papers into your search tab and it will direct you to the assessment resources on the AQA website. If you click on question papers in the column on the left hand side, then in the component section, if you click on paper two, you'll see lots of examples of role play questions which you can have a go at. You can also select whether you want to do the foundation or higher tier. So now moving on to the photo card question, tip three is to revise palm language. You'll have probably come across this before in your lessons. And what it means is P for describing the people, A for the action, L for location and M for mood. So these are phrases such as there is a woman or they are eating or they are inside or they are outside or they seem happy. And these are really useful phrases for describing the photo. Again, I'll put the link to a Quizlet set with some useful phrases linked to the palm in the description box below. So you'll be able to work your way through those. Tip four, revise past exam questions. So just like for the role play question, it's really important to revise past exam questions for your photo card element of the exam. This time when you're timing yourself, see if you can complete or prepare the bullet points in six minutes. And again, the more that you time yourself and do this process, the better and quicker you will get. If you're not sure what the photo card looks like or you're not really sure how it works or how to get a really good mark in it, again, I'll put a link above to a video I made recently all about that. Now moving on to the general conversation. Tip five, revise using a voice recorder app. It's really easy to get a free voice recorder app on your phone or you can use your voice memo app as well. So hopefully at this stage you've prepared some of the questions that your teacher has given you which could come up in the general conversation part of the speaking exam. So at this stage it might be very last minute, you might be a week before your final exam. So what you could do is you re could record some of the most tricky questions that you have come across with their answers and responses on your voice recorder app. You can listen to these responses on the way to school, on the bus, whenever you have a spare moment. And this will hopefully help you to remember some of that response in preparation for your speaking exam. Tip six, revise using Quizlet flashcards. Creating Quizlet flashcards with your questions and responses is a great way to revise coming up to your speaking exam. Again, if you are really close to your speaking exam, what you could do is just create these flashcards for the most difficult questions that you know are gonna come up, okay? So again, I'll just show you an example of some of the ones that I have created on here. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe for weekly videos giving lots of tips to help you with your GCSE Spanish. Bye!